Uh, what's up guys? As you see, we are in an ice shack. I got some stuff getting ready. We're on the ice and we're not in Minnesota. We are fishing a tiny pond, trying to get whatever we can get. Hopefully some big bluegill so I could cook them up or crappie or best. There's also a walleye and pike here. So stay tuned. I'm going to set up some of my fish pros and jig with like a jigging spoon or a tungsten jig. So yeah, stay tuned and we see what we can catch. There we go. It's been a really slow morning. Oh, a little walleye on the tungsten. Gotta find the ice. I really hope it's gonna be okay. But yeah, there we go. Little tiny walleye. Gonna release him. And hopefully get some more. There she goes. Fishing in 16 feet and literally just using a tiny. Let's go to the ice. Just a tiny tungsten loaded with two wax worms. I'm gonna get back down there and hope there's some more bigger ones, honestly. Oh, I just had another one. There we go. Got something on a rattling spoon. Ooh, it's a nice gill. It's a really big gill. Look at that. That rattling spoon. The minnow head. We're gonna put them in the live well for now because these are really tasty fish. We'll see what we can get. As you guys see, I've been literally using this, the minnow head for that bigger gill, and I'm kind of just banging it off like two or three feet off the bottom. It makes a lot of noise, and it's a bright colored because the water's a little bit dirty here right now. So, I'm trying to make as much noise and a nice visual presentation for these fish. But yeah, we'll see if we can get anything else out of here. All right, guys, so we got a flag on a shiner. I'm gonna see if something's still there. It's a pretty big shiner, so. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a big fish. I don't know what it is, but it is huge. Holy crap, guys. It's like a six pound bass. Oh my God. That thing is huge. Oh my god, look at this thing guys, look at it, holy crap, big old bass on the shiner, I'll show you guys how I'm going to be setting it up in a second, but that is a really big fish, and I was starting to doubt these flags, because I had them set up for a long time, I'm going to give you guys another quick look, there we go, put this guy in the live hole, I'm waiting for someone that could actually take a picture and record me because that thing is huge. All right, what's up, guys? So this is the bass. It's about a four pounder. You see, it has beautiful colors on it. Big old mouth. As you see, I caught it on a shiner. I'm gonna let this big girl go because she's gonna lay some nice eggs in the spring. So yeah, let her go. Just let her give her a minute. I think she's ready. There she goes. Beautiful fish, guys. I'll try to get one more, maybe. Maybe in this afternoon we'll get something else too, but if not, thanks for watching. All right, guys, so the way I set this up, literally a shiner, hook by the butt. And I am I have a bobber stopper for this and this little plastic thing, which you gotta hook onto the thing. But I got my Vex down there, so I'm gonna see if I didn't, if my bobber stopper didn't move. which it did move because I had the fish and this set it about I don't know if you guys can see but it's about like two feet off the bottom right now I'm gonna take out my vex and take this plastic thing right here like this I'll take it and latch it on I'll show you guys in a second and you latch it on like that. Also, I got a blue tip switch on an alarm goes off to your phone. Uh, I might talk about this later in the video or a different video. But yeah, every time the tip up goes up, I get an alarm going off on my phone. 
but yeah you leave your bail open and when this goes up the fish is able to pull a drag or pull a line without it knowing that it's hooked so, yeah. uh what's up guys as you see it's getting dark out you can see the moon right there still got our flags and stuff set up we're gonna try for a little bit longer if anything i want to add some clips before this but if we don't get anything then this is it uh thank you guys for watching the video we probably could have gotten more fish if there was more fishable ice because it's like three and a half four inches so i don't really want to walk around everywhere because i'm not sure the depth of it i don't have a spot bar or anything so yeah stay tuned to my next video i'm going to be doing a lot of ice fishing if you like ice fishing then please leave a comment like or subscribe to the channel it helped me out a lot and yeah guys i'll see you in the next one